Greetings, fellow mathematicians. We're gonna take a look at a really good problem. This one involves everything, a definite integral, and trig functions. Now, our choice for the substitution is pretty straightforward. We have an inner part here, one plus sine of x. So let's go ahead and try that. So we'll choose u as one plus sine of x. That's nice because when we differentiate that for the differential du, we'll get a factor of cosine of x, which is what we want. So du here, that just comes out to cosine of x dx. So this substitution seems to work. The only other thing we're going to do, which makes this a little tricky, but it really shouldn't be, is we're going to convert our limits from x limits, 0 to pi over 6, to new u limits. And we're going to do that with our usual conversion chart. So we have x limits from 0 to pi over 6. And our substitution that we chose was u as 1 plus sine of x. All right, and all we need to do now is plug in these values for x to get our new values for the limits in terms of u. Now, it's sometimes tricky for students because in Calc 2, their basic trig that might have kind of been a while ago. So let's go ahead and take our time with that. Let's go ahead and first find the value here when we plug in x as pi over 6. We need to first determine the value for sine of pi over 6. Now you can do that from the unit circle, but I hate the unit circle. I prefer these two special triangles and just basic SOHCAHTOA. So if we go to our angle, pi over 6, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of pi over 6, that should come out to 1 over 2 or a half. All right, so if we go ahead and make use of that here, sine of pi over 6 is a half, a half plus 1. Our new upper u limit should be 3 halves. All right, now when we plug in 0, we get 1 plus sine of 0. And if you think back here, sine of 0, if we think of that on a basic unit circle, remember here, 0 is your angle in radians, so you have no rotation. That point corresponds to 1 comma 0 on the unit circle, and sine always goes with the y-coordinate. So here, sine of the angle 0 equals the y-coordinate 0. So again, hopefully you already know that, but sine of 0 is 0. 1 plus 0 is just 1. And that's how we convert here our original x limits using our substitution. It was maybe just a minor difficulty since we had some trig values to evaluate. Now if we go ahead and plug all this in, what we should have is an integral going from 1 to 3 over 2. Cosine of x dx, that just converts to du, and 1 plus sine of x is going to convert to u. So this part here, we're going to get u to the third power. And that's a really basic antiderivative. We just apply the power rule to that. We're going to get a factor of 1 over 4 times u to the fourth power. And since we converted our limits here, we again do not have to back substitute u in terms of x. So once you convert your limits, you can completely forget about your substitution, which is why I always advocate to change or convert your limits. So here we're going to evaluate this from u equals 1 to u equals 3 halves. So with the fundamental theorem of calculus, with your antiderivative, plug in each limit and subtract. So we should get here 1 fourth. We're going to be plugging in u as 3 halves, so we get 3 halves to the fourth power. And when you plug in 1, 1 to the fourth power is just 1. So we have here, when you plug in u as 1, just minus 1 fourth. 
If you want, you can factor one fourth out from this and write your answer as one fourth times three over two to the fourth power minus one. And that comes out to some number. This is the exact value which is myself and a lot of other calculus professors are looking for. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe.